Yesterday, the University of Guyana Borbis campus held an undergraduate research symposium at TAIN. Sasha Ramsaran reports. The University of Guyana's Office for Undergraduate Research held a research symposium yesterday at the University of Guyana Barbies campus's auditorium, which was attended by lecturers and students of both the Tain and Turkine campuses. Vice Chancellor of the University of Guyana, Professor Ivlaw Griffith, was unavoidably absent from the event due to prior engagements. The program's aims centered around the exploration of research topics and projects and how they can be linked to national development, which is an overarching goal of current undergraduate research. Director of UGBC, Professor Subramanian Gomathanayagam, gave the opening remarks. Some of the lecturers in the East Campus, they really do support to them to the research. I say here, few students who are in this student presentation, I urge all your students, whether you are first year, or second year, or third year, or fourth year, who know, please show interest, come forward to present the research paper. As I am director, I fully support you in terms of financing, not 100%. Of course, we try to give 50%. If you want to go to outside of region, outside of the country, we will support you. UG's Director for Undergraduate Research, Dr. Troy Thomas, in his address, highlighted the importance of undergraduate research. Undergraduate research is an important, or undertaking uh, research, is an important component of completing your courses of study. But it's not only important for the course of study, it's important for who you are. And I usually say to people, students, as well as my colleagues, if you're going to follow a program, a program of education, and it does not change who you are, then you should go and ask for your money back. Why is undergraduate research so important? For many of you, it's the first time you're going to engage in that activity. But believe me when I say this, it's going to be a different experience from anything else you've done on your course of study so far. Some simple reasons, there are some simple reasons for that. You've always been given assignments to do, you've studied for tests and for exams. But you have always known where to start, where to end. A research project will turn that inside out. All that you're going to know is that you have a project to deliver, a research to deliver. Pan American Health Organization's representative to Guyana, Dr. William Adukro, was also in attendance and presented on Guyana's health research agenda. We did Guyana, we have research mainly in HIV for reasons known to many TB, malaria, and other chronic and incommunicable diseases. Probably HIV because they had a lot of money uh, from the 1985 thereabouts. A lot of good. Uh, old years were pumping money into HIV. Therefore, there, there were a lot of you know, research done. And that's also one thing. Um, researchers, and not all researchers, but researchers tend to do the research that they can get funding for. The other issue about uh, health research in Guyana is the lack of funding. And um, when you go to the US, you, you, know, you know we have the NIH where millions of, of US dollars are pumped into health research. And then also research conducted are mostly unpublished. Ladies and gentlemen, in health we say that if research is more than two years, it's beginning to become their research. The Office for Undergraduate Research was established in the latter part of 2016 as an initiative of the Office of the Vice-Chancellor. Its mission involves promoting and facilitating the engagement of students in research and other creative activities. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.